up hey how's everyone going during this covid pandemic everything's pretty good up here in canada not a lot going on as you can imagine the sylvia's not even insured so there you go decided to drag the old mazda 3 out the daily driver there's a couple of things i wanted to check stick around it's going to be a pretty chill day just shop hangs and chill <laughs> Yeah, it's so awesome, and it's, it's terrible for your hair, and we hate it, but we love it. <laughs> is this a Dorifto car as well? No, this is a, I'm going to park it in the garage, we'll see where you're going. Oh yeah, that sounds like but my car. Park really sweet, it'll be an inch off the ground. Yeah, yeah. that'll be sick. Oh, yo, is that loud as shit? Oh, dude. Okay, wait, 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 oh god. That's awesome. Um, tell me about this uh, this BMW. You might help you sell it. You never know. <laughs> oh, it's it's pretty it's sold. sold. So. It's sold. It's sold already. Really? Uh, pretty sold. Yeah, do you want to tell me about the car anyway, so no. to give some context to no the video? Context. It's a E36. It has the inline six engine. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know anything else about BMW. Hi, I'm John. I know three things about BMWs. <laughs> yeah, I know they're crap. Yeah, it stands for Big Mexican Woman. Hmm. Um, this bolt here, this ball joint for the lower control arm, is bloody impossible to get to because the engine sits on a slant this way and the, all the manifolds in the way this way. So you have to use a wrench to get it off or like a super thin socket, but we, don't, we didn't have one. So what you have to do is put a jack up underneath to put it back on to try and bind the ball joint. Fucking sucked. And on this side, the only way we could do it was we had to take the intake manifold off and then hit it with an impact. that and head on into the other room oh, so holy shit yeah I can't really uh, do a vlog without talking about COVID because COVID's become a really big thing didn't think it would become huge two months ago or a month ago but it's pretty big now I feel real bad for all my New Zealand friends or my New Zealand watches three, what three weeks four weeks of, of quarantine now that's brutal you guys are champs here in Canada it's not so bad it's not so much quarantine we've just been told to socially distance a lot of places have shut down except, you know, your usual grocery stores, mechanics and whatnot. Anyway, I think we're gonna go get some food. It's been a long morning and I'm hungry, so come get some food. Food? Yeah, but the problem, Dane, is everything is closed, so we're gonna have to go five people through a drive through Not a bad idea. Side bitch. All right, what we getting? I'm gonna make it super hard for everyone. Can I please have a burger with nothing except the meat on Can it? Can I have this burger that comes with everything, mate? But I don't want anything on it, mate. Then I want on a different bun, mate. And I want some chicken strips on the side, but I want them to be like this, mate. Just ketchup is fine, thanks. Right, thank you. Should all like that. Right, good cut. Can I do everything Hello. Uh, just give us two seconds, please. We're just gonna keep looking. Well, I know what I need. Yeah. yeah. No. no. <laughs> Sorry, we we have uh, we have two orders, please. Two orders. Two orders, yeah. Uh, so the first one, can I get a Dave's double combo, please? Uh, iced tea with no ice, and then on the burger, can I get it on a, a junior bun? No vegetables, please. Correct. And then uh, chicken strips on the side with just ketchup as a sauce. For the second order, can I please get a Dave's triple with cheese? Okay, combo, right? Yes, please. Yeah. Uh, iced tea, no, uh, no ice. Okay, I'll make a large fry combo. Uh, large, please. Okay, and thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. I was, that was probably too loud. She heard me. She fully heard me. <laughs> My head's a bit sore. Why? Uh, ran into a 
But I was actually running from some dogs while actually trying to get the dogs to chase me. And as I turned around, I ran into a tree branch and like almost KO'd myself. So I think I might have a bit of concussion. I don't think that makes the story any less stupid. Oh, that's a good sound. You want me to close the trunk? Yeah. <laughs> My help. Yeah, you, uh, you're, you're kind of leaking a bit there, mate. Fuck the hood. Find out what's not plugged in. Whoa, where's the drain plug for it? We can't find a red. It wasn't leaking, so maybe it fell out while I was back. You're a bit blind there, mate. I can't see anything. Okay. I'm just chilling. That sounds almost the same as mine. <laughs> It sounds good for a KA though. It's not bad. Yeah. It's a, it's a bit tractory, but I mean, let's go again. <laughs> that's, that's, a, that's a KA and it's our thing. You did it! It's in! <laughs> so, so, what is this? No, I know what it is. I don't want to be that guy. Look at that really shitty exhaust, where did you get that from? Oh, I think it says a lot it says, oh, SCG performance, oh. Shitty, cheap gear performance, nice. Yeah. <laughs> it's perfect too, because I So what are we setting up? I'm Dane, by the way, I don't think I've actually introduced myself. Hey, so what is this? What are we doing? Uh, it's a 3D scanner. Trying to scan the inside of this. What made you specifically buy a 3D scanner? Obviously everyone's got a 3D printer, but nobody really has a 3D scanner yet, so it made sense to to jump on board? Yeah. You gonna get one? No, I'm just gonna use him now. I'm excited. This is gonna save me a bunch of time measuring stuff for pages. Yeah, this stuff isn't cheap either, so... Uh... Alright, so I put the car back together. I thought there might be something a little bit funky going on with the upper left strut mount. I pulled it all apart, pulled the strut out, uh, nothing. So, I'm not too sure where there's a clunk coming from, but who cares? Who knows? Who cares? Uh, anyway, put it all back together. Uh, now it's time to clean. This car hasn't been cleaned in two years, which is really bad. So we're gonna clean her inside and out. That came out a bit wrong. We're gonna clean the car inside and out. And yeah, we'll take it from there. So let's get to it. Two hours later. All right, so it's been a couple of hours. Finally, the car is clean. I can't believe the amount of stuff that came out of this. I used a pressure washer and I've never used one before. And it was unbelievable. I found like growing plants in my car with roots and everything. Unbelievable. Anyway, so it's clean. Thank God, absolutely needed it. Uh, looks like the guys almost finished up scanning the car. Um, I think I'm gonna pretty much end it up here. I know it wasn't a very exciting vlog. Not a lot really happened. More of a shop hang slash clean slash fix shit video. Hopefully things clear up over the next few months and we're able to get back out there, do some drifting, go to some events, film some stuff, but this is just gonna have to do it for the moment. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that bell button as well, and we'll see you at the next one. Peace.